I'll see how to hit you, my friends. Happy Turkey Day Eve. The Eve of Turkey Day. All right, so I am mixing my um, from scratch candied yams. Last year, I grew the yams in my garden. It was actually, well, no, it was actually the Okinawan sweet potato, the purple ones. And I dug those up and then I made those candied yams for last year, which was really amazing. This year, because we were planning for the wedding and we weren't sure if we were going to move into our, um, you know, permanent homestead, I didn't have time to really do a lot of the gardening, you know, other priorities. So, so this is store-bought. But, and it's not the purple sweet potato, it's the Okinawan sweet potato. This is just the regular traditional orange yams. But if you guys have never tried the Okinawan sweet potato, first of all, way more nutritious. Look it up. And a beautiful purple. I'm telling you, if you love purple, guys, you gotta try the Okinawan sweet potato. Oh my goodness. So delicious. Mmm, or as my grandma would say, so oishi. Mmm, it's delicious. In Japanese. Okay, so here is what I am doing. Ta da! Mix it all up. What I did was I boiled the water and I, I peeled and I cut up the yams, right? And then I, um, when the water was boiling, I put it in there for about five to seven minutes. Probably more like eight because I was busy doing other things. But I did turn the fire off. <laughs> I had to mix the uh, granulated sugar, the brown sugar, uh, gin uh, ground ginger, ground, what else did I put in? Let's see. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's see. Ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground ginger. So I did not have nutmeg, but thankfully I bought this in advance. So I just had to, you know. Use this bad boy. Got the job done. And so now I'm heating up the oven, which I should have started already. I was debating if I should start this part tonight or tomorrow because we've got the Lions game tomorrow. So guys, I don't have time to do everything to be at our Thanksgiving dinner because they want Thanksgiving dinner at 3 o'clock. That's my family for you. Let's have it at 3. Yeah, 3 o'clock is perfect. They've always done this to me. I digress. Anyways, so I'm doing the candied yams tonight. Now I'm doing split and split because my man does not like marshmallows and his boys don't like marshmallows. Anyways, I digress. To each their own, so I'm making it for everybody to enjoy. I love the candied yams with extra marshmallows after because I mix it up inside and then I throw more on top and I bow right? Mm, I love the marshmallows. Theirs will be non-marshmallow candy yams. So it's just yams. Anyways, so we got that and that. And then I'm going to make a uh, cranberry sauce from scratch. Never done it before. It shouldn't be very difficult. I pulled up the recipe and printed it out. And so, um, and then I was like, you know what? I have not made in forever. I would make Rice Krispie Treats, but not just any Rice Krispie Treats. No, 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 not just any. I would make the Rice Krispie Treats and then I would use the Reese's peanut butter cup, peanut butter. They used to sell it. I couldn't find it this year. I'm like, where the hell did it go? It's like the best peanut butter ever. Anyways, we're dealing with regular smooth peanut butter. It's okay. They've never tasted it before, so they don't know. <laughs> but I'll know the difference. <sighs> oh, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but that's okay. I digress. Oh. Anyways, what you do is you make the Rice Krispies on the bottom, and then you layer it with peanut butter. Oh, there goes my gremlins. You layer it with peanut butter, and then you melt chocolate chip, chocolate chips slowly. And then when it's nice and melted, you pour the delicious gooiness right on top. And then you throw it in the refrigerator. Deliciousness. Guys, stop it every time I'm filming. Stop. They were angels. I swear to you, they were angels. Until I turned the camera on. 
Knock it off. So, anyways, I'm doing candied yams. I'm doing um, the cranberries. And I'm doing the Rice Krispie Treats. I always make Hamica. No. I always wanted to make Hamica. Sorry. I love Hamica. I've never made Hamica. Uh, I always wanted to make uh, Hamica. I haven't done it. I do have, well, I've made the tea, but I haven't made like the fun drink. It's like, it's like crack to me. I don't know. I just get like the crazy laughing fits. Ask any of my coworkers, ask my mother. It's crack to me. I love it. So what I make every year is what I meant to say is I make uh, horchata. Horchata is delicious. I just, I don't have the room. I could probably squeeze the time, but guys, it takes like 24 to 36 hours to make. You know what? Yeah, I don't have time. It's already six o'clock. Yeah, nope, sorry, I don't have time. You can't rush. You can't rush it. You soak the rice over 24 hours. Okay? You can't rush it. I don't buy the powdered packets from the grocery store that's disgusting no i do everything everything from scratch okay otherwise don't waste my time don't waste my time like my mother years ago i'm still mad at her about this my favorite dish in the entire world is homemade lasagna <laughs> behave <laughs> I love homemade lasagna. My mother says, oh, by the way, I got you lasagna. You've been asking for it for a while. I'm like, oh, yeah? She goes, yeah. Get it out of the freezer. I have to run errands. Get it out of the freezer and throw it in the oven and follow the instructions. Excuse you? What? First of all, why is it in the freezer? And why are there instructions for me to read on a box? I ran to the freezer and I opened it up and it was a damn box. Oh, I was so mad. I cooked the damn thing, but I wasn't happy about it. But that was a family's dinner, so I had no choice. She came home from her errands and I go, what the hell is this shit? She's like, what do you mean? I go, this is not lasagna. You do not get lasagna out of the frozen section of the grocery store. It was blasphemy, I tell you. Blech. 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 I never live it down. Never let her live it down to this day. Mom, if you're watching this video, you remember that day. You laughed your ass off. Oh, I don't think I talked to her for a whole week. I was so mad. Yeah, I'm going to try sample. Oh, mm, damn, that's fucking delicious. Oh, so put it in a, put it in the sink. I'm not nasty like that. That is good. Pardon my French, but that was fucking delicious. All right. So, in she goes in the oven. Okay, hold on. I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm known for burning myself. Oh, deliciousness. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Uh, deliciousness. All right. All right. Place it in the oven. 20 minutes. Okay, let's set the timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Minutos. 20 minutos. Done. All right. I got more water boiling because now that the candied yams are going to be almost complete, I need to get started on the mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. And I am making, um, what the hell am I doing for dinner? <laughs> oh yeah. What is it called? Oh my gosh, it's a chicken sandwich. It's uh, what is it called, guys? Fuck. 
Sorry. Blame it on the reds. <laughs> I'm making something. I don't know. I'm making a chicken salad sandwich. I've got cut up apples. I like to make it feel fancy, but I'm doing too much work. It's just going to be the chicken and apples. I give up. Fancy bread. We got Famous Dave's bread. Oh, that stuff is good, guys. If you've never tried Famous Dave's, you are missing out. It is good. This one is called the Good Seed. I won't let you... Good seed. I see it backwards in the screen, but you probably see it forward anyway. So, yeah. And, all right, guys. Also, too, for your Black Friday, please shop local. I have a few car charms on there. I didn't have time to um, make my other bracelets. And then Slim got into my jewelry container and just, oh, my gosh. He just destroyed a lot of stuff. And I was just like... <sighs> He's alive and well. I didn't kill him. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Stuff that he swallowed didn't kill him either. I had... Oh, my good Lord. Okay, I don't want to relive it. Anyways, I will be putting more stuff on my Etsy shop. So it's TK, the initials, TK, Posse Vibes. So check it out. Probably... Oh, I don't know. Maybe Saturday or Sunday. I'll probably have time to make some cute. I want to make some cute little snowman earrings to put on there. Guys, everybody's going to need snowman earrings like the best. So I'm going to have that on there. I have car charms so you can decorate your cars with crystals. I've got rose quartz for self-love. Okay. You can't give what you don't have, guys. If you don't love yourself, you can't give love, okay? So rose quartz help you with your self-love. Work on you first, and then you can give, right? Okay. I also have snow, uh, snow quartz obsidian. Yeah. That is good for protection, right? Our Native American warriors would put that on when they went into battle so they would have safe return to come back. So it's protection, I also have black, do I have some black onyx? I think I do have some black onyx, which is also another one for protection. Black is a feminine color, mother protection. So protection. Oh, what else do I have off the top of my head? I think it's just those three, but they're really cute because I have a wrapped in metal like a moon and then some other crystals dangling down. And then you hang it. it I did a, like a necklace a clasp so that way it's like a necklace for your rearview mirror. It's very cute. You guys check it out, okay? Uh, the website, I'm not, I had to have help. I'm not very, you know, as you guys know, I'm not very tech savvy. So there is more than one picture. It says there's only one, but guys, just click on it and you'll open it and you'll see it, I promise. Okay, so they're there. Those are available. So check those out if you want to get those for yourself or Christmas for other people. I greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys. Remember, shop local shop small business we appreciate your business big box stores they don't they don't they'll survive without yourselves then they don't even appreciate so don't even like you saw my rant on my TikTok about walmart anyways i'm dealing with that okay so you guys saw me do the candied yams now after it's done in there i'm going to divide it into two separate like i said because some like marshmallows and some don't like marshmallows so <laughs> anyways so yeah so we're gonna do the two so I'm gonna divide it into smaller containers first but I'm gonna bake it there first I'm not well yeah I'm not gonna do the marshmallows tonight because it, it just melts and evaporates so that's tomorrow right after the game I'm gonna rush home turn the oven on just do like 10 minutes and then phew, fly it on over to my sister's house like literally fly the vehicle over to her house it's like a 25 minute drive i'm you know what i might as well just bake it with the marshmallows there because it's not going to make it they're going to go flat yeah that's probably what i'm going to do but i'm going to have everything else done i'll do another video i'll show you how i do my rice krispies you guys might have never tried it that way before you probably never thought of it so hey something new for you to learn okay so you're going to love it. Anyways, talk to you guys on the next video. If I don't, 
have a happy Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? Uh, it's a good time too to reflect and what has not served you the year. Get rid of that shit. Be gone. Smudge it away. Poo. Okay. All right. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.